Okay, welcome back to Killing Floor, and uh, mm, actually, first things first, I want to check and see if this is actually recording. So I'll stop this right. Welcome back, and yes, it is recording. So uh, now we know that. Uh, actually, first things first. So it's been a while since I've recorded this. You'll notice I'm level six firebug now, and I've definitely leveled up a few things. Most recently, I grew to level 3 support specialist. I actually literally did that within the last 6 hours. Went from level 1 to level 3. And I also got my field mag up within the last 6 hours as well. So, I've been busy. And... I'm thinking of playing as a commando. Yes, you've got evidence right here, I've actually killed more stalkers right now as far as percentage goes than I have done damage with the gun, but that's because I've been playing uh, on the on the uh, Doom Priest, the Doom 2 map server thing, which basically has an entire room that only spawns stalkers when you're watching it, so... Well, stalkers and crawlers, so... If you, if you just get one, one commander to watch that room, Pretty much prevents big shit from spawning in that room and gives you a really easy time being in that map. And that's the only reason why I have more, so many stalker, stalker kills compared to all well, the damage I've done with the rifles. I think today I'm going to play a little bit of support specialist. Maybe a little bit of berserker or demo. Maybe. Maybe not. For now I'm just going to stick with sharp sure to start a round somewhere. And I need to weld more doors now because I was way ahead of door welding for a while, but uh, because I actually started leveling up my support specialist, now I'm actually somewhat. Uh, it's I've caught up to it basically, so now I actually need to weld shit again and do this off server name. It's easier to sort this way and find uh, Bob's whorehouse. That one's full. Still full? Yep. Oh well. I like the Bob Sorehouse servers. They're really solid servers for the Doom map. Fortunately, this thing's gonna keep loading. Stop loading so I can play Bob Sorehouse. <sighs> Bob Sorehouse. There we are. Alright. Alrighty. Just as the wave starts, it's only wave two. So I should be more than good. Alright. Just in time to start wave two. There's nothing coming that way yet. There will be, but there's nothing yet. See, look at this. I leave for like one second, there's like literally all this shit spawned. And it's a cool thing with the crossbows, you can just kind of line them up and take them out. Look at this. That's right, I'm no longer immune to fire damage. Like I once was. Fire damage is going to kill me. See, look at this. I'm almost dead from fire damage. Seriously, when was the last time this ever happened? Huh. It's funny they call Don't stand my way, you asshole. Jesus, I've had enough assholes in like the past few games. I'm tired of people pissing me off. Trying to play Commando, some random noob tube guy shows up and starts randomly noob tubing shit. Meanwhile, all the rest of our team is dying behind us because no one's noob tubing the big shit. So eventually, I just let him die and started. I left him to the room alone. He got himself killed because he was being a stupid idiot noob tuber who doesn't know what he's doing. And he went and uh, natural selection took care of him, thankfully. Okay. A little bit of puke on me, that's okay. Speaking of which, the random house that was being built across from me, apparently they had built in sections away from the site. So basically, these sections have been chunked together basically and put up. 
as of basically about last week. And pistol's not gonna do much to him. I lied, it did. Quite a bit much. Of course I'm not gonna be a new way more, I'm actually gonna change classes within the uh, trader since I learned that little handy tip from actually from uh, Jason. I was watching him and Seamus do that killing floor killing floor thing. And there I go starting to do that again because I'm still being a noob. Um what do we have? We have a support spec. So I suppose I'll go commando with up. Bull puppet. Yeah. Bill. Okay, okay. Bill, Bill, I don't care if I have the AK right now. More than likely you won't need it. More than likely. We have this uh, sharpshooter here who thinks that's a automatic rifle. I got this room covered by you, you don't need me. That's obviously not a bullpup and or scar. See? But this is kind of the reason I didn't want to solo calm for this level, because all I'm going to be doing is seeing this room camping the stalkers. So it's going to be incredibly boring for you guys to watch. Like, this is going to be the entire... the entirety of round 3. Is me camping the stalkers. So... And literally, all I need is a bullpup to do this. I don't even need a scar. I can do this the entire round with just a bullpup and make it all the way to round 10. Because they're going to be over... Here, I was hoping to deal with that shit a little better than what they are. Oh, uh, whatever. Beggars can't be choosers. Especially when I'm not a beggar. Whatever. They'll figure out how to stop stuff from spawning in that room. Just a simple matter of being in that hallway. Not the one I was looking down, but as long as you, you have at least one person stay in that hallway it's perpendicular to this one then stuff won't spawn in that room because you'll still be within the side of it this room all it's going to spawn here as long as I keep watching it is stalkers and crawlers but if I move like to that line there then literally all the stronger stuff will start spawning well not really because it's round 3 but uh, it's all you guys like clot square fast and maybe like a uh, husk or a uh, siren but, uh, flesh pounds and scrakes like to spawn in this room when you're not watching it, which is why I'm watching it. Because I'm sure my team would appreciate not being raped from behind by a few flesh pounds, scrakes, and such. So, yeah, this is, uh, basically going to be the entirety of this round. How many do I have? 665? Wow, people are dying. What are they doing back there? What are they doing? And they're getting territorial over shit. That's... Yeah, well who has this ground, assholes? A bunch of dicks. Whatever. I can understand the territorial thing. I mean, if there's some asshole with a noob tube saying here, noob tubing shit as it drops down, for no better reason than to piss me off, then I'm just gonna back out when he's not looking, let him run around that room, do his thing like a dick, and let like 50 crawlers jump on his head. I'm not even gonna bar shooting at any of them. When we ask for healing, I'm gonna say no. And uh, that's basically what I did, and he died, and he rage quit. And I got my stalker room. Because he was being Mr. Useless Noob Tube. Well, people are dying behind this, quite literally dying. Like, I'm serious too, like, there are teammates dropping behind this. And this game, like, killed by scrakes and flesh pounds. He's sitting here, like, level 4 noob tuber, noob tubing the freaking stalker room. Because he's a fucking noob. 
Look at me and my injured state. I wonder who will heal me. Someone will find me. Ah, fuck it. Before someone does find me and decide that they want this room. Well, I'm the only commando. They shouldn't want it.